Hey guys, meteorologist Chris Tomer here with this afternoon mountain weather update. All right, here's what I'm seeing this afternoon. So here's a timeline for snow. California, you've got three to six inches coming tonight into tomorrow morning. The Wasatch, uh, heavy snow coming. It's going to start soon, run through the night, all night, tomorrow morning, probably through midday, and then taper off. About 8 to 16 on the way. Tetons, 1 to 2 inches on 222. Colorado, um, 1 to 4 inches. There may be some higher amounts in the northern mountains next 48 hours. Um, and then we're going to see this northern branch uh, come down. It's going to buckle out of Canada, 225 through 229, maybe even into the uh, the first week of uh, March. And that's going to bring a couple of different storm systems. It'll bring its own energy, merge with the southern branch, and we could have a west-northwest flow pattern set up across the Intermountain West, and that could mean pretty big totals, as you'll see. Northeast light snow, light to moderate snow, 223, although it may mix with some rain at lower elevations or the base areas on 223 at the major ski areas and then maybe a more mm, potent storm system 227 and 228. All right let me show you what the water vapor, uh, water vapor satellite looks like this afternoon. So on this again your moisture is in your whites, your blues, and your greens. Um, oranges and reds are drier air aloft. All right, so here's what I'm looking at. There's our trough of low pressure moving into California. That's what's going to cross Utah and Colorado and refire the snow as that low moves through. Now behind it, there's another big trough of low pressure in the atmosphere coming out of the Gulf of Alaska. That will send, a, you can almost see it, a little bit of energy right here towards California, and then the rest of it's going to go up and over the top and be part of the the buckling northern branch after 225. So it will contribute pieces of energy to both, and they may simultaneously come together, uh, 226, 227, for some significant snow across the Pacific Northwest, across the interior Rockies. Um, we're looking at, I'm, I'm just seeing big totals. Here's the forecast jet stream. By end of day today, you can see the storm system coming on shore in California, quickly moves into Utah, Colorado, 221 and 222. And then it's gone. And then we're in for a pretty quiet period. On 223 in the interior, it's gonna be warm and dry. But here comes, so that big trough spat out this little area of low pressure. It's heading towards this trough, heading towards Colorado, heading towards California. On the northern branch, it's also sending energy in. Watch what happens. Around 225, 226, the two come together. So the northern branch comes south, southern branch is there, they meet up. We're looking at a really nice preferred flow out of the west northwest for the interior states, plus energy. Um, plus storm precipitation. So there's a lot of little elements that'll come together for this. Um, let's run this out. Um, so there's 227 in the day. It's all about the northern branch into 229. It's reloading. So by the time we get into the final days of February and the early days of March, the next area of low pressure will already be moving into the Pacific Northwest and likely down through the interior states interior Rockies. Let's put some precip on it. So that's uh, that's the current state of affairs. 530, light snows, everything's starting to get a little heavier in the Wasatch overnight. Look at that by tomorrow morning. Nice slug of moisture and or graphics over the top of uh, the Wasatch. Some snow, central and northern mountains of Colorado, some leftover snow through um, parts of the Sierra. And then that low departs, moves into the interior. And by end of day 221, that low is coming out of Utah through the Four Corners, spinning through Colorado with that snow in uh, Colorado's high country, and still there by end of day, but by 223, it's gone. Much drier across the Intermountain West. Here comes the next pattern shift, and notice both areas of energy merging here on 226 from the north, from the south. Heavy snow, west-northwest flow starts to establish itself right there. Very heavy snow on 226 through almost all the major mountain ranges from the Pacific Northwest all into uh, Colorado. Still here on 227, the flow reloads. Look at it coming out of the west-northwest, just nailing those mountain ranges. Tetons, Wasatch, and here comes the next storm system into the Pacific Northwest. So you can see why I'm pretty optimistic about this pattern. All right, here are the, uh, the latest totals I've got. Here's the grand total map for this afternoon. Rest of today through 229, looking at anywhere from two to three, maybe four feet up in the Wasatch for grand totals between now and end of day on 229. Um, over a couple of feet now for the Tetons. In Colorado, one to two feet. Most of its western slope and in northwest Colorado, purple areas are a foot or more on this map. Numbers are still big up in the Pacific Northwest, Washington, Oregon, 50, 60, 70, 80 inches of snow. Those numbers have been kind of fluctuating, but they're, they, they remain very large, even in this afternoon update. Um, look at interior BC, still looking at one to two feet up there, 10 to 20 inches, maybe a couple of feet around Revelstoke, um, as far as a grand total. All right, let's break it down by period. 
So rest of today through tomorrow, 3 to 6 in the Sierra, 8 to 16 in the Wasatch, 1 to 4 in Colorado, a couple of higher amounts up there around Steamboat, Buffalo Pass, and the flat tops. 222 through 224, a tiny bit of leftover snow in Colorado, um, but generally this is a little quiet period here, 223 and 224 waiting on the next pattern shift and here it comes here's 225 through 227 the door just swings wide open the west northwest flow delivers and we're looking at you know one to two feet tetons wasatch colorado a foot in idaho uh one two three feet up there in the pacific northwest washington and oregon in particular and grade totals through bc final period 228 through 229, and this would likely continue spilling south into the 1st of March. Another foot, one, another one to two feet in the Tetons, the Wasatch. I mean, these are big numbers, some high snow ratios with this flow. Um, and you can see all the way upstream, we're looking at feet of snow in many cases. All right, one last stop up in the northeast. So some light to moderate snow, again, maybe mixing with some rain at lower elevations on 223, but maybe a little more potent of a storm system around 227, maybe 228, somewhere in there. Um, we'll have to watch, I'll have to watch the timing, but um, that's what I'm seeing right now as far as this afternoon update. We'll end on the grand total map again. Um, these are the grand numbers all the way through uh, the end of 229, and they are big in many, many locations, guys. All right, I'll keep things updated on this end. Thanks for tuning in here to this afternoon update, and take care.